Hello and welcome to this exhibition at the National Football Museum about my life. I feel honoured that you are able to share in my memories and I'd like to thank all those who have helped to create for me a life in football that has been truly remarkable. This goes to Tom Finney. He draws the defence and passes to Medley. The Spurs winger sends over a beauty. Bailey gets his head to it and England are level. One of the greatest players I've ever seen and uh, I remember the first time um, I actually saw him play was a little lad in, in Newcastle and we used to, my, my brother and I used to go and watch some, some teams we used to, when they used to come, if they had really good players, it had, it had to be that because it was very expensive, and, uh, but I remember going and seeing Tommy Finney and I couldn't take my eyes off him, he was just, mesmer, he just mesmerised the fullbacks and, uh, and that's something that stuck with me for years and years and then eventually uh, I managed to get picked to play for England and I knew she'd be playing on the left wing but, but Tommy Finney and, uh, and uh, at the end, at, near the end of the match we were, we were leading 3-0 and uh, at the end of the match he did what he always did he, he dipped his shoulder and he went past the full back to the, to the dead ball line and he just chipped a little past to me and, and I volleyed it right into the top corner and uh, Tommy, uh, the, the goalkeeper actually funnily enough came and congratulated me. It shows you how things, times have changed. He congratulated me and said, well done, your first international camp, you know, and that was Tommy Younger. But my, my main thought at that time was not that. It was that Tommy Finney had lost the ball for the first goal. Playing for England. Ryan Giggs is a little bit like him, you know. Um, but um, no, he was, he was quite unique, really, Tommy. He was, he was up and down, he had this little shuffle that you, you would recognise as soon as you saw him play. He was, he was just a, an unbelievably gifted footballer. I mean, really gifted. Um, not only that, he scored goals at, that were at important times. I, I never really saw him until the end of his career. To, to think what it must have been like when he was about 19 or 20 it must have just been sensational. just had this exceptional ability, balance, speed, control, knowledge, um, and ability to turn at tremendous speed without losing the balance, and I think that was his real big secret. Also, he was a wonderful header of the football. Not many people speak about this, as, as uh, he could come out of a rook and be right at the top of his head, and it was in the net. And it's terrific, and that's why he was good when he went to centre forward. He was possibly the best centre forward in the league at that time, after f playing on the wing for those years. And of course, he played on both wings for England, as we all know. And uh, on top of all that, the most wonderful man you'll ever meet, certainly in the, in the game. And uh, I met a lot of great players and played with a lot of great players. But Sir Tom tops a lot. There's no question about that. That is not Preston bias. That's a professional opinion. Well, I remember, you know, when when Gary Peters had the job before me, uh, Sir Tom used to come in and see him. And then when I got the job after Gary, Sir Tom used to come in on a Friday. We'd have a cup of tea. We'd talk about the game, and it was terrific because there's there's a lot of people now outside the game who, you know, you know talk badly of it. Sir Tom never talked badly of the game. He had a great knowledge as well. He was up to date with, with modern technology, things that were going on in the game. And I just found him a pleasure to speak to. And as I said before, you know, to, to have a chance to speak with Tom Finney, you know, you just don't get those moments. So I've always felt very privileged to have been given that opportunity. Tom Finney was playing against you, you were in trouble. The old thing with Tom Finney was his ability to play. Take people on, beat people on, you know, doing everything I wouldn't like to defend against. He just went past them. Don't know how he'd done it, but that's how he used to do it. Yeah. Obviously dribbling and he had the ball control and things mm -hmm. like that. So he was top class, there's no question about it. Yeah. Well, I would think Stanley Matthews and Tom Finney were the top boys 
wingers in my time. When I first came to Preston, I lived next door to Tom, so we, we got to know all the family and everything. And he's a smashing boat, really, and uh, an excellent, one of the top players in the world. And uh, I was lucky enough to play with two of the greats, Stan Matthews and, and Sir Tom. So I was, I was lucky, fortunate. And I th I, that was the only reason I kept the Preston, actually, because I'd already played with Tom in the Football League game, and uh, I knew I couldn't go, couldn't go wrong playing with Tom every week. You sometimes hear, you know, like the great Bill Shankly, you know, talking, and the, the comparison between Stanley Matthews and Sir Tom Finney. That was always, that was always the comparison, and. Um, even Shankly turned around and said, well, for me, it's Finney any day. And from my point of view, he was just a genius. There was nothing the lad could not do. He could do anything. Left foot, right foot, head the ball, beat people, score goals. Wonderful. He's the best player I've ever seen. I remember once the, he'd been out injured and the Daily Express came to do a feature on Tom and there was only me, Kenny Hayes and Les Dagger uh, available in the afternoon so they asked us if we'd sit on a bench while Tom lapped the track and they took some pictures and then the following day or the day after it was headlines in the express at the back there's a picture of me and Dagger and Kenny Hayes and Sir Tom training which was great but I never thought any more about it and then about a week later Tom approached me when I was going in for training and said I wondered if you'd like that and he gave me a brown envelope and it was the actual picture from the newspaper which they sent him and he signed it for me. So that's one of the most treasured possessions I've got, yeah. I'd obviously like to have played a bit more with Tom but uh, now he's no different now and he treats you exactly the same as he did 50 years ago and that you know, says a lot about the man. Obviously he was, he was a marvellous footballer but I think as a man gentleman like he's got an air about him that even like I said when I shook his hand today there's a certain sort of air about him which, which is great to see. But obviously to be mentioned sort of in the same breath as Sir Tom is very proud for me and, and, my, and my family like when they when I'm back home and, and because like I've, I've only ever seen videos of him and like he was a brilliant player and as you say world renowned ambassador of the game so to get mentioned in the same breath as him is, is an honour. Got me funny as was everybody's idol, including mine, like. And uh, he's the best player I've ever seen, you know. All these things that's running about now, like, right, you know. Uh, I don't think they could hold a candle to Tommy. And he used to take plenty of stick, like, you know, and always good dropped on the ground or whatever, but picked himself up and carried on. Whereas loads of other players, like, you know, they, uh, they get the same knocks and what, what have you, like, you know, and they used to play act and all that kind of thing. Something that Tommy never did, like, you know. To play with Tom Finney was an experience that if you haven't done it, you, will, you can't appreciate what a player he was. He was fantastic. In those days, there was always a, a, a debate going on, who was the better player, Matthews or Finney? And everyone that, you, uh, that asked those questions, trainers, players uh, at that era, every one of them said Sir Tom Finney was the greater of the two. He played five positions for England, all across the forward line. Outside right, inside right, centre forward, inside left and outside left. He scored 31 goals in 70 internationals. Matthews got three uh, in that period. He would have got 100 caps but for the war with Tommy. But what a player. A gentleman, fantastic. Never, I don't think he was ever booked in his life, but what a player. It was an honour and a privilege to play with Tom.